Tamiko pendant is made out of four of these elements, like these squares made with telos and samos, and together with four millimeter bicones and three millimeter rounds or pearls. So I already made three of those and I need to show you how to make the fourth one so we can connect them together. We'll be working with wildfire thread. I cut one meter long piece and I'm using size 12 needle. We will start by putting on an 11 0 seed bead. I'm working with milkies. And then we will need to add the Tilo, uh, Tilo's bead and together with Samo's bead. Uh, the easiest, easiest way to do that is to already insert the Samo's into the Tilo's and then go through both of these beads at the same time. Don't forget to check the holes. Samo's have uh, two holes and Tilo's have four holes. So we will be using all of them. So now I lost it, of course. We'll be using, uh, using all of them, so don't forget to check them so there's no bad surprises later. And like this, add uh, three more telos and three more samples and three more milkies. After that we will knot the circle and add more beads. So this is what you uh, have on your thread. Be sure that the samples are facing the same way up. They have puffed only one side. So before you make a circle, so I'm knotting this thread. With two knots. So before you do that, make sure that the puffed sides are facing the same way up. Now you need to get to this second hole, to the inner hole of this one of those samos. So what you want to do is to go through the 11 0 which is next to the knot, through the first hole of the telos and the this hole of the samos as well, and then step up to the second hole of the samos. Now Pick one eleven o and go to the second samos next to it. Pick another one and go to the next one. So you are connecting the holes of the samos in the middle. Instead of knotting it to circle, you can also use stop bead, but I prefer this way. I already made three of those, so this was uh, the best way for me to do it. Now when you have these, we will be adding the three millimeter beads. So what you want to do is to be exiting out of this 11 0 And now you're ready to pick up the uh, three millimeter. I'm using pearls, but you can use also rounds. And I'm going here to the top 11 0. I'm going from the same uh, on the same side, the thread is exiting, but it doesn't really matter because now when you pull, the three millimeter bead will be sitting between those 11 0s. And you want to go back, back through the pearl, and then through the 11 0 you started from, but from the other side. So for me, like this. Now you need to get to this second 11 0 and do the same. So pick up one three millimeter around the bead or pearl and connect these two and then continue and add two more. Uh, after you edit all the three millimeter uh, rounds you want to go to the corners and add bicones. So your thread uh, should be coming out of 
11 here between the samos and what we need to do is to get to the upper 11 again so once more go back up through the uh, pro and then doesn't really matter from which side again through the 11 here now pick three 15 o's i'm using mu keys again then four millimeter bicone and then three 15 o's again so you have six 15 o's and a bicone between them and go through the other side through the 11 o arrange the beads so it sits nicely in the corner so now according to the free pattern you are supposed to continue through the beads here and add the bicones one by one and then in another row you are supposed to add more 15 o's here to these holes in the corners of the telos uh, i personally find coming around uh, uh, like too much you, because you can do the 15 o's immediately now since you are here so i will show you how i did it so we don't have to go through uh, all the beads twi twice more but just once so what you want to do is go up through the 15 o's and then through the bicone so your thread is exiting out of the bicone now pick four 15 o's then go through the telos through the hole in the corner doesn't really matter if first from the back to the front or from uh, front to the back i personally go first through the back to front then pick four more 15 o's again and go back to the bicone then pick four more 15 o's again and we will do that on the other side too so i'm going through the telos picking four more 15 o's and going back to the bicone and now I can move over to the second corner and be done with this one so I don't have to go through uh, through the especially the 11 holes here we will go through them once more now and uh, going by the pattern it would mean once more even like that so I thought this might be a bit faster and a bit easier so what you are going to do now is you go down through the three 15 o's on the side that the thread is exiting from the bicone then you will go through the 11 o here in the corner and then you need to go to the second 11 o so what you want to do is go through the t lows and the samos between them to the second 11 o go through the 11 o and now repeat what we did with the bicone so adding six 11 o's with the bike oh sorry six 15 o's with bicone and then eight 11 o's here in total for each corner of the telos and after that add two more also here and then one of these segments is done and we need to complete uh, all dependent but sewing them together after adding the last corner be sure you are exiting from the bicone uh, hide the tail of like the other side of the thread and don't cut the main one because we will use the main one for connecting the squares uh, here in the middle and also connecting the squares here where the corners are touching so we would be adding unnecessary amounts of threads and we can definitely use the ones we already have so i would recommend arranging uh, the square so that you have one thread here for each connection so 
let's say like this so i will use this thread coming out of this square for connection here the thread from this one for connection here and the thread from this one for connection here then i will have to also uh, connect the squares here but i will get there somehow and then the last thing is that here at the tops uh, we will be adding beads so we can add their jump rings for attaching the pendant to a rope or chain or uh, here at the bottom you can also attach something else like a tassel or some kind of a crystal pendant so you want to have a jump ring there for this kind of possibility so let's start in the middle pick the needle and the thread which is supposed to connect the beads in the middle add on this thread we also show that it's exiting a bicone uh, put on one 11 ohm pick another square and go through the bicone there in the corner add another 11 ohm go through another square another 11 o, another square and the last 11 o, and through the first bicone and tighten and go through this connection at least two more times so you're sure that everything is uh, nice and put and reinforced and then don't cut the thread because we will use it for the last connection here so after tightening i will show you how to get to the corner which needs to be connected and is missing a thread and we will use the one we are working with now so what we need to do is to get here so now you want to go from the bicone which is the same bicone I started from through the 15 o's here the three 15 o's on the side of the telos then through the 11 o which might be a bit tricky so watch out for the bead so you don't break it and then through the telos, samos and the other half of the telos Which is a bit tricky for me because my needle bent so as you can see I'm using pliers and I'm trying to straighten it a bit now it's a I must say a bit mess with all the loose ends and you need to get to a bicone so go again through 11 o at the corner then 3 15 o's on the side and a bicone and you're there so you, sh you have to do this only once because here you already have the threads and now in on this side you want to connect it by picking one 11 o going to the second bicone and then picking one 15 o one bicone and one more 15 o and going to the bicone on the other side now go around and strengthen it multiple times and after this you can do it on the other sides as well 
uh, I would cut the thread here and then add the thread on the places where you want to add the jump rings. So after connecting all the sides and cutting all the threads, I attached a thread here at the top where I want to add a place for my bail. So uh, I'm coming out of a bicone and I'll be attaching a simple loop out of beads. So I'm adding three 15 O's, one 11 O and three more 15 O's. And I'm going through the other side, through the bicone. Now I will go up through the 3 15 o's and the 11 o. And now add as many 15 o's as you would like to for your future project. So I will be probably adding there only a jump ring. So I don't need as many, so I'm picking six. Six 15 o's. Now go through them two more times. Together with the 11 oh of course because we need to make sure that the loop is strong enough for the bail Now go down through the three fifty nose, the bicone, and that's your bail done. So then attach a jump ring, a chain, or a beaded rope, and if you want to, you can do the same on the bottom here. You can add a tassel. You can follow one of our beaded tassel caps video to make your own. And for the final touch, I would recommend since I was using Samos in the full Dorado or Crystal Amber, it's the same color. And uh, this finish, uh, I would really recommend to cover with Permalac, the semi-gloss one to protect its shine and that it, it won't rub off, so that would be my last recommendation. I finished my uh, pendant with the tassel. The cap is the beaded tassel cap video on our YouTube channel, so you can definitely watch it and add it to your pendant. So this was Tamiko Pendant by Puka Ane. This is a free pattern from uh, Pearl Papuka. And we worked with Samos, Telos, uh, Parpuka beads, and also with uh, Miyuki seed beads, bicones, and 3mm pearls. If you need any of those materials, there are links uh, underneath the video in the description box, so you can definitely check them out. Thank you very much for watching, and if you finish um, the pendant, we would like to see your pictures in our beading and jewelry making group on Facebook. So definitely you can post them there. Thank you very much and see you during some other tutorial on our Putamang Beats channel.